Well, welcome everyone to the first of our Lenten organ series for this season. Um, I'm delighted to be able to present them again. The, these uh, concerts are a special pleasure for me because I get to, in an informal setting, talk about this magnificent organ and talk about music in a way that um, I really can't do on Sunday morning within the context of the worship service. Um, I'll say a few words about the instrument. I know that um, many of you have come before, but if there are new people here, this organ was built in uh, Padua, Italy, which is about 30 miles away from Venice, Italy. It took four years to, uh, from signing the contract to delivery, and the organ was actually done in two stages. Uh, there are two key families that made this possible. Uh, this, uh, the main uh, gift came from the Smith family, and um, they, the, this, the formal name of this organ is the Julia Thompson Smith Memorial Pipe Organ. And it is 5,500 individual pipes in the front, um, the facade pipes, in other words, the pipes that you see, all do play. The silver pipes are 95% tin and 5% lead. The trumpets that stick straight out are brass, and they're lacquered to prevent um, tarnishing. And then in the back, that was a separate contract. There are two cases in the back balcony, and there are 700 pipes split between the two. Uh, there are also in, in the back organ, speakers for digital stops simply because there's lack of space for uh, real pipes for as many uh, stops as we have, as many sounds as we have. So altogether, 6,200 pipes between the front and the back. Um, the wood here in the case is a special type of mahogany from the Ivory Coast of Africa. The, uh, company, the Italian builders, the Rufati builders, um, buy the tree trunks and they then have them sawn into boards and then they let them season for about 10 years before they build with them. But they found that this particular wood is the most stable and they have built organs all over the world in various climates from deserts of Mexico to obviously uh, subtropical climates here in, in Naples. Um, and they are also builders of many large instruments like, like this one. This is the largest pipe organ in southwest Florida. There's another one in the Fort Lauderdale area built also by Rufati that's a, a bit bigger than this one. So I always start the concerts with a trumpet piece just because they're the most prominent feature on the organ. I want you to just hear how, how great they are. Uh, the, tr the trumpets have their own wind supply, so they're designed to, to play out over the full organ. So you'll hear the trumpet um, being accompanied by a very m loud accompaniment and then sort of back and forth. The, the main theme uh, will be in the trumpet and then it'll be repeated with both hands on the main uh, keyboard and then back and forth. So this is called Festive Trumpet Tune by an American, David German.
So on the, on the last chord, you could hear the trumpet sailing out, easily heard over the full organ. Um, the wind pressure on the, on the trumpets is twice as high as the rest of the organ. Um, so it's kind of a small, narrow uh, column of air feeding the trumpets versus two big blowers that feed lower pressure but a lot of air to the rest of the organ. Uh, another feature of this organ that I love is that it can play any style of music beautifully. Um, this next piece is an introspective piece by J.S. Bach. Um, it, was, it was written in the second half of his life and uh, it's in a collection called Leipzig Chorales or the Great 18 Chorales that he had, he had taken hymn tunes and decorated them, made them into preludes. And uh, this one in English is Deck Thyself, My Soul with Gladness, or Schmuchi Dich, O Liebe Seele. Um, and it's got a very beautiful accompaniment. I think the accompaniment is just as beautiful as the ornaments that he puts in uh, the melody. So I hope you enjoy this. It's kind of a meditative piece.
I should have mentioned that piece is a communion hymn, um, so you can imagine that being played during communion time. Uh, this next piece is a transcription of an orchestral piece that's very famous, uh, Largo from the New World Symphony by uh, Dvorak. And some of you may recognize this theme from the symphony, some of you may recognize it from a tune that's uh, been given lyrics called Going Home. Uh, but it's kind of the contrast of what this organ is capable of, of is sounding like a, just now uh, an instrument from the 1700s uh, and now to uh, kind of imitate somewhat of a symphonic movement is still kind of slow and introspective but uh, a very very different feel so when i when i play the bach i kind of imagine myself in uh, box church in leipzig germany and here i kind of imagine myself conducting a uh, 60-piece orchestra so here's the Largo from the New World Symphony by Dvorak.
This next piece is, uh, trans is a uh, hymn tune arrangement of Wondrous Love, a very famous Lenten tune uh, by one of my favorite organ arrangers, Dale Wood. He's written so many of these. Um, I played a little bit of this for our Ash Wednesday service last Wednesday. Um, this piece also is very introspective and uses some of the softest stops on the organ. Um, and toward the end, there is a it's called a canon in musical terms. It's like a round where the melody begins with the manual part and then in my feet I'm playing the melody one measure after. So you'll hear the melody coming from uh, the front organ and then the melody in my feet will be a flute stop coming from the back of the church. One more piece to share with you, but uh, bef before I do, um, Nancy Van Fleet, who is our Director of Children and Youth and uh, Education, has every Wednesday following this concert at one o'clock, Sacred Habits. 
uh, where they will meet upstairs in the youth room and uh, they are uh, doing a study throughout Lent. So each one of these Wednesdays is uh, available for you if you wish to, to participate in Sacred Habits. There's more information by the door on a, a sheet like this, uh, over, over by this door in particular. Also, um, in the cross aisles, many of you had seen them already, but the St. John's Bibles are here for you to take a good look at the illuminations and what an amazing gift to the church that was last year. And we're delighted to be able to share that with you and have you come up and take a close look at the callig calligraphy and the um, illuminations. And there are people uh, in our church that uh, serve as docents and can, can give you some uh, explanations on the artwork. Uh, next Wednesday, Bob Henstein, who is here today, uh, will be playing the organ for the noontime concert. Um, I have a, a medical procedure to take care of, and uh, Bob will be here to play the noontime concert. So uh, I, he's a fantastic organist and has played for me many times when I was on sabbatical, when I had to be away this fall. I just uh, really appreciate Bob's playing and willingness to, to, uh, to do the Lenten concert in my stead next week. Okay, the final piece is uh, Toccata in B minor by Eugène uh, Gigou. You uh, may recognize this piece. I'll, I'm gonna play it again as a postlude on Sunday. So this is a good warm up for me to, to play it for you. Um, it's just a, a rapid fire piece with uh, uh, alternating patterns in the hands, and uh, eventually a melody in, in the pedal. Um, the hardest part about this piece really is just turning the page. So uh, I may struggle with the page turn, and you'll notice that I have so many pages that I have to prop up one page on the left-hand side of the console to get it all to lay out correctly. So. But I do hope you enjoy this Takata by Jigu. After uh, the Takata, please, if you have questions and want to t or want to just take a look at the organ console, come up and, and take a closer look. And then we do, uh, I always take a, a group of people behind the wall here in the hallway. There's a, a hallway that enters the organ chamber and you can see some of the pipes uh, in the organ afterwards. So. Um, do just come up and, and ask any questions and then we'll take a tour of the pipes. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoy this Takata. Thank you. 